to understand the uh, process of glycolysis. In the pathway known as the glycolysis, the 6-carbon sugar glucose is metabolized to two molecules of the 3-carbon compound pyruvate. The early step of glycolysis used two molecules of ATP. Four molecules of ATP are then produced in later reaction for a net gain of two ATPs per glucose. Additionally, two molecules of NAD plus are reduced resulting in two molecules of NADH. Let's look again at the two parts of glycolysis. The first part consisting mostly of energy consuming reaction and the second consisting mostly of energy producing reaction. The initial reaction in the pathway consuming energy converting ATP to ADP, the enzyme hexokinase uh, uses ATP to phosphorylate glucose producing glucose 6 phosphate. Glucose 6 phosphate is then rearranged produce the fructose 6-phosphate. The enzyme phosphofructokinase then added another phosphate group to the molecules creating fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. The two phosphorylation reactions are irreversible and are important regulatory points in the glycolytic pathway. The key control element is the enzyme phosphofructokinase which is inhibited by high level of ATP. Inhibition of phosphofructokinase results in an accumulation of fructose 6-phosphate. The reaction that produces fructose 6-phosphate is readily irreversible and therefore block at phosphofructokinase also result in accumulation of glucose 6-phosphate. High level of glucose 6-phosphate in turn inhibit the enzyme hexokinase. Thus, when the cell has adequate supply of metabolic energy available in the form of ATP, the breakdown of glucose is inhibited by the inactivation of these enzymes. When ATP levels are low enough, glycolysis proceeds with the production of fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. Cleavage of fructose 1,6-bisphosphate yields two molecules of the 3-carbon sugar, that is the glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is oxidized to 1,3-bisphosphate glycerate. In the process, two molecules of NADH are produced. One of the phosphate group of 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate has a very high free energy of hydrolysis. So, it is used in the next reaction of glycolysis to drive the conversion of ADP into ATP. The resulting compounds is 3-phosphoglycerate. 3-phosphoglycerate is then converted to 2-phosphoglycerate. The next reaction produces the phosphoenol pyruvate, which is then second high-energy intermediate in glycolysis. The glycolysis of the high-energy phosphate of phosphoenol pyruvate, the conversion of pyruvate is coupled of the synthesis of ATP. <coughs> phosphoenol pyruvate, enolase. Now the pyruvate kinase, the phosphate pyruvate converted to pyruvate. In total, four ATP are synthesized from each starting molecule of glucose. Since two ATPs were required to prime the initial reaction, the net gain from glycolysis two ATP molecules. In addition to producing ATP, glycolysis converts two molecules of NAD plus to NADH. The NADH then serves as the donor of electron for other oxidation reduction reaction within the cell. 